The Adventure of the Lost Page. Mia, I'm just saying that like surely robots have like some sort of like immunity to poison. So I don't know, maybe like you could go through the poison spikes first, eh? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, ah, uh, hey. Oh, so remember that missing page in our Tome of Tales? We've been tracking it down and it brought us here to the ancient temple of adventure fiction. Now that you're here, let's listen for a clue from Story Weaver the Bard about today's mission. In this temple of adventure with a lost page hides, knowledge of the genre is what truly guides. Well, you know the drill. Another genre to explore, another tale to complete, another step in saving genre land from the shadow of Manani. All in a day's work. Except today's work happens to involve poison spikes, dangerous crumbling temples, and probably scorpions. Ugh. The genre of adventure fiction is certainly not for the faint-hearted, so... It is a good thing you're coming along with us. In today's adventure fiction extravaganza, we'll be checking out the key characteristics of an adventure story. We'll also look at a literary device known as pacing, and explain its role in adventures. As we learn, we'll avoid nefarious traps and make our way deeper into the temple. And hopefully, we will find the lost page to finish this tale in our tome. First, we'll need to continue down this path, but like you might have overheard me saying, the walls are riddled with poison spikes. Yikes. So, Let's start with a basic definition to find our footing. What is adventure fiction? Well, adventure fiction is a genre of stories that centers around a thrilling journey and involves danger and risk. It's a genre that whisks readers away to imaginative and perilous places filled with puzzles and obstacles, engaging them with fast-paced narratives that inspire our inner explorer. You might be thinking, quests, puzzles, exploration, I've heard those terms in other genres. You're right. Stories can fit into multiple genres, and adventure stories are often combined with other genres to create, for instance, an adventure fantasy story or an adventure sci-fi story. That's part of what makes genre so diverse and interesting. Let's explore what else characterizes the genre of adventure. Phew! Ha! Huh. We bypassed the poison spikes on the walls. Whew. The next room seems peaceful. Too peaceful. You're right. Let's take a moment to look at some key adventure characteristics before we forge ahead. The first important characteristic of an adventure story is a courageous, resourceful protagonist. This individual may have voluntarily signed up for their adventure, or they might be unexpectedly involved. Our adventure hero journeys to distant, unfamiliar locations that present a test for survival, challenging the protagonist with uncharted and treacherous terrain, or forcing them to rely on their wits and quick reflexes. In an adventure plot, the protagonist must survive and complete their quest, which tends to be dangerous, action-packed, high stakes, and filled with exciting conflicts, whether against the forces of nature, hostile societies, or villainous characters. Now, it's time to practice identifying key adventure characteristics. Read or listen to the story in your PDF, then underline details that characterize the protagonists, circle details that describe the setting, and put a star next to details that describe the protagonist's quest and challenges in the story. Pause here and resume when you're ready. Your answers may differ, but here are mine. 
I underline details showing Caroline and Mia's quick thinking and courage in the face of the temple's traps. I also circled phrases like Temple of Adventure, Rusty Wall of Spikes, or Once Beautiful Hallway to show the dangerous, unfamiliar setting. And I put stars next to words about the lost page and the traps to show our protagonist's plot and conflict. Anyway, now that we've summarized some key characteristics of adventure, why don't we take a nice, relaxing break? I think we deserve... <laughs> Actually, change of plans. <laughs> Scorpions? Uh, no thanks. Looks like it's the perfect time for us to pick up the pace and learn about pacing in adventure fiction. Ah! <sighs> okay, so you might have noticed the suspenseful action sequence we just went through. Phew. <laughs> but when it comes to adventure fiction, how do writers create suspense with nothing more than ink on a page? Well, they often use an important literary technique called pacing. Pacing in literature refers to the speed and rhythm at which a story unfolds. Think of pacing like riding a bike. Sometimes you pedal slowly to enjoy the view and let your mind wander. Other times you pedal faster for a thrilling rush down the street. Writers use pacing in a similar way, either to slow down the narrative, to reflect and relax, or to speed it up and jump into the action. In adventure stories, pacing is often used to create a feeling of suspense and excitement. Today, we'll be looking at three specific pacing techniques commonly used in adventure fiction. Structure, dialogue, and information control. Let's start with structure. This pacing technique involves varying the length and organization of words on the page, like sentences, paragraphs, or chapters, to control the story's rhythm. If you want a sense of urgency or tension in your adventure story, you might use short, choppy sentences, minimal description, lots of small paragraphs, and even sentence fragments. Let's look at an example. John's breathing was quick, shallow, heart pounding, every shadow a hidden menace, he leapt over gnarled roots, the map clutched tightly in his hand. A roar shattered the silence. Close, too close. He didn't dare look back. This story uses short sentences and sentence fragments. And see these blank areas? These are paragraph breaks. In fact, this excerpt has five small paragraphs. These structural details help create a tense, exciting scene. The next pacing technique is dialogue. Quick back-and-forth dialogue speeds up the story, making it feel urgent. Exciting dialogue might also use interruptions or reduce the amount of dialogue tags, which are the phrases that show which character is speaking, such as he said or she asked. For example, listen to this conversation. The map, Tom, do you have it? Captain Flint demanded. Tom hesitated. Uncertain. Yes, but... But what? The markings on the map, they've changed. Changed? What are you- Look here, the X was at the southern tip of- Quiet! Tom froze, the sound of faint footsteps approaching. Hide the map, now. Flint stared into the dark grimly. We're not alone. This dialogue progresses rapidly, using interruption and only a few dialogue tags to show a tense, fast-paced mood. The last pacing technique is called information control. This refers to the way that an author conceals and reveals key information at specific times, so that readers are kept in suspense, curiosity, and anticipation. Adventure stories might use foreshadowing, when the story hints at what will happen next, or a cliffhanger, which is when the story stops abruptly at an intense or suspenseful moment, like the end of a chapter. For example, during our narrow escape from the scorpions, you might have noticed the foreshadowing in the story you read beforehand. Remember, it referenced crawling sounds? Ugh. You also might have noticed the way that transition scene cut away from the action just as we were running away. A cliffhanger, making you curious about whether or not we'd escape. By mastering these pacing techniques, 
structure, dialogue, and information control, writers of adventure fiction can control the speed and rhythm of their stories, keeping readers on the edge of their seats from start to finish. Uh-oh. Oh, this place is falling apart. Oh, we have got to find that lost page fast. In your PDF, identify the three pacing techniques used in the story excerpts. Pause here and resume when you're finished. The first excerpt focuses on structure for its pacing, with short, punchy sentences and fragments. The second excerpt focuses on pacing and dialogue by including interruption and avoiding dialogue tags. And the third excerpt focuses on information control by foreshadowing what is approaching and ending on a cliffhanger. <gasps> I hear something. Look! The lost page! And our dangerous mission, you've kept swift pace and earned your reward from this perilous chase. Phew, we made it out alive. Now, you've mastered the key characteristics of adventure fiction and the pacing within. And next time, it's time to go back in time. Our next tale takes place where history is not just remembered, but vividly brought to life. Until then, remember, every story is a new horizon. See you next time. Hey.